Hey guys. Here Hello. Mr. Curl Ninja. Um, and this is just going to be a demonstration on massaging uh, your shampoo and your conditioner or mask through your hair. So I've been talking about this technique a lot in different videos. Um, also in the book, Cracking the Curl Code, I talk about it. And we did have a little video clip demonstrating it, but we're just like, I have too many people who I still feel like are just rushing their shampoo process. And really with OA, the most of their um, cleansers are treatment based. And so if you don't work them through, you're not actually gonna get the benefits. So um, I also recommend if you can't get all your tangles out while your hair is dry, that you're better off doing most of your detangling with the hair bath in your hair, meaning the shampoo versus the conditioners. The conditioner makes your hair um, a lot more elastic. It's a little bit easier to actually cause breakage if you're doing all your um, detangling with conditioner. The hair's a little bit stronger when the shampoo is in. That's what I've found with the Owe products at least. It might be different with other brands. Um, this video is gonna be using Owe. We have quite a few things there on the <laughs> shower back bar. Um, we're gonna be using the Rebuilding Hair Bath. Uh, the After Sun uh, Hair and Body Wash is in here because that's what we use as our body wash. And then we also have Frequent Use Conditioner, which just is a good, just if you wanna use a conditioner as a leave-in, it's awesome. It's really light, so I'm gonna show you how to work that through to emulsify it and get it to expand so that you really feel the softness of it. If you're just taking a bunch and going like that, or just scrunching it, you're not gonna get that soft feel that you're looking for from conditioner because these products don't have those ingredients in them that brands use to trick you into thinking your hair is getting healthier, like just to create tons of slip um, and to make it feel super soft when that doesn't necessarily mean it's making your hair healthier. Uh, what else is in here? Micro stimulating hair bath. Uh, Dennis hasn't been using that, but I've been using that uh, in combination with the rebuilding hair bath for my bald spots that are still recovering from Diva Curl. And then we have the rebuilding hair mask in here as well, which this I recommend using maybe once a week and rinsing fully out versus the frequent use conditioner you could leave in. You don't really wanna leave masks in typically, especially when they're treatment based. So, so you could use the rebuilding hair mask, rinse it out and then put the frequent use conditioner in, condition with that or leave it in as well. Um, different products different purposes so that's why it's just important to understand the purpose of each product so you know what to get and how to use it and when to use it um all right so we're gonna start out i mean then it's already wet his hair but it's already starting to dry a little bit you definitely want your hair to be super soaking wet before applying the shampoo. So, so wet it again. Dennis knows how to wash his own hair, but I'm gonna do it for him just so that you guys can see I it. can really show you the technique. So rebuilding hair bath is awesome for anyone who has any kind of damage to their hair, whether it was you were using Diva Curl, this is definitely what I recommend for anyone who's using Diva Curl, but if you have damage from bleach or heat or anything else this is an awesome product that does not weigh your hair down and does not um, cause any breakage or over softening it's just strengthening the healthiest strongest hair is always going to show the most curl pattern all right all right so what i like to do is take a few pumps i'll put them right on top of the head i'm going to do three pumps i'm going to have dennis hold this and what you want to do is get the lather going first. If you put the product in your hands, rub your hands together, and then stick your hands into different parts of your hair, it's less likely you're going to be able to get a good lather going. But once we get that lather going, then it's a lot easier to spread the cleanser through the rest of the hair. Oh, we can't do this at a shampoo bowl, so this is what it is. <laughs> so really work it for a little while before grabbing more of the product. So I do want to make sure I get this all the way through the lengths of the hair. So what I'm doing is I'm really just squeezing, right? It's almost like you're stroking your hair. 
So I'm not really raking my fingers through yet. I will once I've really distributed through the whole hair. With Owe, you might notice that the shampoo seems to be absorbing into the hair. That's just fine. It loves it and it soaks it right up. Okay, I'm gonna take one more pump, this time in my hand because we're working in the length and if I go like that, it probably is just gonna fall to the floor. And I'm gonna get it right there on there and I'm gonna work the length. Get that lather going. So you are massaging into the scalp, but that's not actually the main focus. It only takes a very light even rinse to cleanse your scalp. It doesn't, unless you have a ton of buildup, you really don't need to be scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing your scalp with a cleanser. We actually wanna focus more on the length. So this is the massage. So I'm gonna take a section here and I'm gonna squeeze and you're like smoothing the hair. See this, as you're squeezing downward and I can get tangles out with this in. I'm gently raking my fingers through. Rake and squeeze a little bit, take another section, work it through, some tangling here. So you wanna, before you run your fingers through to detangle, try stroking from the scalp, scalp to the ends because a lot of knots can kind of just smooth themselves out and undo themselves. And then you can go through, spread out any larger knots that you feel and then rake. Yes, I know I'm a crazy person. I'm detangling his hair with shampoo, but this is um, the fear of shampoo uh, was generated among the community because of people not using good shampoo. And your shampoo's job is to take away what your hair doesn't need and give it good stuff at the same time. And if it fails to do that, then you need conditioner and styling products to hide the problems that your shampoo might be creating for your hair. But when you use a really good shampoo, I mean, his curls are just looking hydrated and amazing right now as we work through them. So now what this is gonna do is it's gonna really diminish the amount of time we spend um, conditioning and styling because we already got the tangles out. When you, if you're just roughing your hair up with your shampoo um, and then rinsing it out and not doing any detangling or smoothing with your cleanser, then what you're creating is probably even larger knots for your conditioner now to have to work at trying to get out. So we'll see, I may need him to re-wet this side of his hair before we're done. I just wanted to demonstrate this technique for you guys. So a lot of people, just like most of you, this top crown area, very prone um, to tangling because it, you know, it doesn't get natural oils from the body. It gets hit by the sun, which the sun does damage your hair too. Um, and so it can tend to tangle a lot. So don't forget about that top crown section, that's what we call it, the crown, that top circle of the head. I'd say this is a lot faster and easier when you're just doing it on yourself. I'm just being careful not to hurt Dennis. <laughs> he is generous enough to be my model for these videos <laughs> and get in the shower with a shirt on, which is so uncomfortable. <laughs> Could have borrowed one of my bikini tops, baby. Hey. <laughs> All right. So, some of you are getting knots. I hope you guys are seeing that you can like wiggle your fingers a little bit. I'm raking and I'm squeezing my fingers as I rake until there's no resistance anymore. He did dry detangle before getting in the shower, but. Um, 
when hair gets wet, it retangles because the cuticle opens up. So he did get the bigger knots out. Cause how many, when was your last full detangling and wash? Uh, wash two days ago, fully detangled. Uh, before today, I did it yesterday, just to pre-detangle. But then I put it back at a up in a bun and that usually tangles your hair. Like, You're right, and you slept with it up? Uh, yeah. yeah, I forgot to um, take it down. Yes, so many of you know who wear your hair up sometimes, how that can cause tangling, sleeping with your hair. Up. Yeah, I usually don't. Definitely. But... It happens, mm -hmm. it happens, you're tired. We're humans. <laughs> So massaging any more stubborn knots, instead of just ripping, ripping, ripping until my hands go through. If it's resisting, then give it a little massage. Now, many of you have probably never considered de detangling your hair with your cleanser, um, but you will be surprised how much, at least if you're using the O-Wave cleansers, how much less hair comes out than forcing a brush or fingers through and when your hair is conditioner in it. So it's good to turn the water off. Don't just let your water run. We need to conserve water. on our planet, so just turn it back on if you need to re-wet. So now what I like to do is just go ahead and reactivate the hair bath a little bit. So I'm just gonna have him put his head under water real quick, not to really rinse out, but more so to add water to the hair. All right, perfect. Let it run down a little bit. Give it another little massage through. See how it's relathering. Water is amazing for emulsifying, which is like creating a lather or getting expansion with your product. So if you feel like, oh, I feel like I need to add more product, maybe try adding more water first and give it a little massage or a little scrub and see if you can reactivate what's in there. You don't have to use as much. All right, so now that that's fully worked through and nice and smooth, I'm gonna go ahead and have him fully rinse with warm water. So the importance of rinsing with warm water is that, so what cold water does is, if you, I don't know if you, maybe you've ever tried to wash dishes and get some buildup off of dishes with, and the water wasn't very warm and the, it'll, the buildup will just sit there. The same is true with um, hair products. So if he doesn't use warm water, he's probably gonna leave some shampoo in his hair. And although these shampoos are amazing and it probably wouldn't hurt it to do that, um, that's just one thing I have not experimented yet with yet is leaving shampoo in. Um, but we're planning to condition, so. All right, so let's do just the frequent use conditioner instead of the mask because the mask is meant to be left on for like 10 minutes or so. And so, and I wanna show, cause this is one of the conditioners the mask too, I feel like frequent use conditioner and the re rebuilding mask, they're both not products that are like supposed to be super moisturizing. So they're not gonna be heavy and they're not going to create slip immediately. You have to work them a little bit to get that slip. It's not gonna be a big like, 
weighted down kind of conditioner or mask. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, one. These don't, not a lot comes out with each pump. So Raise your hands. It's and hard, I don't wanna drop. <laughs> okay, well, my hands are slippery, so maybe you can pump it for me. I got you. All right, three pumps, let's start there. So kind of like we did with the condition, with the shampoo, I'm gonna take a section of hair, I'm gonna take the product, and I'm gonna go straight onto the section of hair. And I'm gonna start working it. Starting at the ends and working it upward. This, this conditioner can go all the way close to the scalp. It's not got a lot of weight to it. So this same stroking motion and squeezing, I'm squeezing as I'm doing this. I'm not just, I'm squeezing, gently squeezing, and then I'll rake through. Raking and also squeezing my fingers together as I rake, squeezing the fingers together as you rake is also giving that sort of massaging action to the product and to the hair. So think of the hair like a sponge that you want to absorb whatever you're putting in it. And so working that sponge, working that hair is going to help with the absorption. And now we have a nice slip. It feels super soft. You want to go till it feels smooth, really smooth. And squeezing. All right, so we'll take another three pumps and do the other side of the head. So I'll have you spin around this way for me. Oh. Uh, okay, one, two, three. One, two, three. All right, let's spin all the way around this way. Perfect, thank you. I'm gonna get it on there and massage. Work it higher. So with one hand, I'm going and I'm like squeezing, right? With the other hand, I'll rake a little bit to feel where their knots are and start to spread those out. You'll develop your own rhythm and technique. It's almost like a muscle, me muscle mechanics, you know, you'll start to, it'll start to be subconscious where you're not really thinking about your detangling and your conditioning and your shampooing processes. You're just doing it. Um, in the way that you have figured out works and becomes more and more efficient, meaning faster and easier and more effective. Because routine, just like diet and exercise, is how we get the best results from anything that we do. Be consistent for a little while and you will see the best results possible. So I'm raking and squeezing through not really hitting any tangles because we already detangled with, we're just really going for absorption here. It's not so much detangling because we really got most of the knots out with the hair bath. Okay, so what I like to do with the frequent use conditioner, unless you have extremely fine hair, then you need to rinse it out completely. Um, rinse with warm if you have super, super fine hair. You can rinse with cool if your hair is a little bit fine but dry and you want to leave a little bit of conditioner in, just a tiny bit. Or, because this is super, super light, Dennis likes control to his look. So I'm not going to rinse it out at all. We're going to use it as a styler. You can do a quick rinse if this is, ends up being too much for you to use that many pumps. And Dennis has a lot of hair. So six pumps, and those are really, I call them portion control pumps. The OA bottles, they really, not a lot comes out when you pump it, so it helps you not use too much. It's easier and better to add more product than to have dumped a bunch onto your hand that you didn't actually need. No one likes to waste product. So I'm gonna squeeze as much excess out with my hands as I can. Give it a little wrap and a gentle squeeze. Your hair is not a bottomless pit, so it can't, um, the cuticle can't lower down and dry the hair if there's a ton of excess water and product in it. So I'm just gonna squeeze out with my hands. Yeah, 
It smells so good too. So frequent use conditioner by itself will give you a very light cast, but um, we're going to layer with a little bit of something that gives a little more of a hold um, over top. Dennis, what do you like? I like um, quick glue. The quick glue, okay. So the quick glue, he likes, it has a good hold. It is a matte finish, meaning it's not gonna be very shiny. It's more of just like a natural finish. If you like more shine, then you might wanna use something um, that's meant for shine, like the frozen glaze or um, glossy nectar, uh, the nurturing drops or the smoothing fluid are all good for adding more shine. So now really all he needs is like a pea size amount of quick glue rubbed onto wet hands and just raked and squeezed through lightly. And, and that's it. All right, so that is um, washing and conditioning technique for using away products and getting the most benefit out of them. Uh, not a lot of hair loss, Whoa. so y'all like that. And so thanks for watching. Let us know what other things you guys wanna see. Um, we love you. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> You're so welcome. <laughs> Get that wet t-shirt off. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we'll talk to you guys soon. You can follow us on Instagram at the Curl Ninja and- Mr. Curl Ninja. See ya.